Hi everybody, this is Boaz Faller and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for October 31st, 2015. It's a Saturday and the moon is still in Gemini or it moves already into Cancer, that depends when your day starts, what continent you are in. And it's a very sensitive day. The moon is uh, squaring the nodes and it's just becoming more sensitive as the day progresses. So this is a great day for some inner work. It's a great day for inner digestion and emotional digestion of everything that we've passed through during the last couple of weeks and to really be thinking about what we did right and what we could do better next time and how we could better build the uh, how we could build a better future for all of us. And you know with the quincunx to Saturn we're really being asked to look at our principles to look at our ideals to look about to look at our truth our personal truth our philosophy for life and see where we divert from the goals and the columns of law and justice that we've set for ourselves and how we could better adjust our life and our actions to fit with the ideals and philosophies that we hold as our own. Other than that, later on in the sky there's a great fire, I'm sorry, there's a great water trine between the moon and the sun and Neptune and that just brings tranquility into this day and that brings a lot of imagination into this day and that brings a sense that we could better imagine how we would like our future to look like. It's as if the waters of feeling and imagination are becoming clearer. We could really utilize this time to rest, recuperate, recharge, and set our intentions. And remember when you're doing inner work, it takes a lot of energy. So rest, just rest. This is an inner work day, so you could rest in it. Other than that, there's a conjunction in the sky during these days between um, Mars and Venus. And that could make us a lot more enthusiastic regarding our relationships, a lot more assertive, a lot more uh, potent in our relationships and, and straightforward in our relationships. And that these are all good things as long as we don't become aggressive, as long as we don't act out only from our lower chakras and we don't look to please ourselves and get immediate satisfaction over long-term satisfaction. So we should really be making sure that we're not manipulative or trying to cast our own will on the other. So good luck with all of that. I'll see you all tomorrow. This is Boaz Feiler signing off. Goodbye.